Hey YouTube, A Maker's Journey. This is my daughter, Catherine. This is kind of an add-on to our original intro because I forgot to say this part, but basically this is a challenge to everybody out there to see how much weight your suspension bridge uh, can hold. I know this is not a new concept, but we, we do homeschooling here and uh, we're, she's currently working on coding and engineering and things like that. And we thought it'd be really fun to uh, make these suspension bridges and do our own. So here's our video and here's what we broke our bridges at. On to the original intro. Hey YouTube, a Maker's Journey here. We do homeschooling uh, this year because of COVID and things like that. They may go back the following year, but we're not really sure. They're, they're doing really well with it. But right now she's learning about engineering, coding, uh, and things like that. So we decided to go ahead and uh, make some suspension bridges and see whose bridge uh, can hold the most weight. So over here, uh, we got the weight and I'll tell you what we have. So we've got a total of 71 pounds in weights, uh, of various, I stole my wife's weights, and I have some bar stock and I got this iron right here, which we're not sure what it weighs, but or it's gotta be over 13 pounds. My little scale only maxes out at, uh, at 13 pounds, so. But, uh, but I know it's gotta be at least over that. So anyway, we're gonna start adding the weight on and uh, hopefully this will be a quick video. My suspension bridge is right here. It's missing a piece. As you can tell, it's a lot smaller than hers. So we're gonna test mine first and then we're gonna test hers to see how much weight it'll hold. Oh yeah, also I have t-shirts and uh, coffee mugs uh, are, are available now. I'll put them in the link below. All right, let's get started. So now we're gonna go ahead and put eight pounds on. Oh man, that thing is, is not doing good. So that's eight pounds. It did okay with eight. <sighs> Shooting for the 10. Oh man, that thing is making noise. We're gonna add five on and see where that goes. We're gonna shoot, we're gonna take this one off and put eight on. Ooh. So we've got 18 pounds. Now we're gonna put five on. basically gave out at well, how many pounds? 18. So mine gave out at 18 pounds. So I think hers is going to do considerably better. She did, it's, it's like Fort Knox over here. Uh, I wouldn't say that, but. All right, so she's all set up and ready to go. We're going to take off the little decorative pieces. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add 20 pounds on. Seems to be doing all right. We're shooting right for 10. I'm telling you, this thing's gonna hold some weight. I know it already. Oh, I hear, I felt, a, I heard a little something. Back up, just a little, come right here. Yeah, just in case it falls. We don't want them landing on our toes. Uh, going right for eight, so that's what, 38 pounds? I hear a little creaking. So we got 46 pounds on here right now. What's this one? <laughs> I hear some creaking going on, you hear it? What are we at now? 56. Back up. We're at 56 pounds. Uh, I'm gonna start adding this. This is six pounds. Oh man. I wonder if you hear that All right, this is eight pounds. Was it eight? Yeah, it's eight pounds. So we're gonna replace that with this. So we have 71 pounds on there right now. We have, so hopefully you can see us in the frame. We're staying back just so you know a little bit. What happened? Oh, so we have 70 pounds and I have a little one pounder here. So there's 71 pounds. We do have more weight. So, ordering for us to do this, I think we're gonna have to go in and get the house scale and start measuring uh, some plates that I have. Cause we gotta get it to the breaking point at least. 
Uh, we weighed out the steel that we have, and these these plates are 28, there are two of them that are 28 pounds, 28.8, and then we've got a 23 pounder and a 19 pounder. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I know, we know just from before that it will handle 70 pounds. Watch out. So we're gonna go right off the bat and stick the 70 pounds on. Or actually 28, what is 28? Uh, 57 pounds total. I'm just more scared. Oh God. Man, it would stood that. <laughs> All right, so I think we're just gonna go right for 24 pounds. We're gonna start backing up now. So we're gonna try to back off while putting this stuff on because it could get dangerous now. I hear a little bit of cracking. Right, so we're at 80 and we're gonna add 19. Besides crap in our pants. So it gave out at what? 80 pounds. I guess 19 might have been too much, but it, it, it held up to 80 pounds. And I'm willing to bet it, I could have easily put another maybe five or 10 on there, but she did a really good job constructing hers. I kind of did mine quick and I was trying to get it done. And uh, I probably should have put a little more consideration in, uh, in weight and things, so. Anyway, that was a blast. Uh, you have a good time? Yeah, we should do it again to see how much we can do it next time. Cause so obviously, I don't want to do it once, so I've, I've, got, I've got something to prove too here. So I've got to start building a better construction. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, we had a blast building this stuff and uh, we're always making, building, or, or doing something to that effect. So uh, follow us later.